All right, guys, episode three. Finally, guys, finally, things are kicking up a huge notch. First two episodes were kind of shit. Third episode, whoo, baby, shit is really kicked up a big time notch here. Storylines are getting awesome. They're really focused in on a couple storylines here and really went with it and I was following the flow perfectly. I was with it. I'm gonna tell you guys this. The storyline I don't like at all is Nori, uh, the little halfling character with the dude with the stars that was the shooting star guy. I'm not really feeling that whole storyline too much. It's kind of bullshit, especially when you're following this beautiful storyline about Numenor and Galadriel visiting Numenor, which is awesome, guys. This place is chic as hell. They got the blue on with the gold armor. These motherfuckers are chic, guys. They are dressed to perfection. They are looking sexy. And she's over here kicking it in this island, doing her thing. And we're getting this awesome storyline. And it's moving forward. And then all of a sudden, they got to stop and visit Nori. And we got to see what's going on with her and the weird doofus guy from the stars. And I don't really give a shit about that storyline at all. I wish they'd just remove it completely. I know they kind of add it just to give you a little bit of comic relief. And a little bit of relaxation from the hardcore focus and intensity of the other storylines. But I don't want it and I don't need it because I'm loving the storylines that we're getting so far. I really like what they did with Arandir in this one. That's the black elf guy. They did a great job with him. We finally get to see some extended orc action. And guys, this shit is brutal. Man, there was blood, guts, death of all kinds. I gotta say, the only thing that was kind of a cheesy scene was the water scene. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, where they drink the water, Arandir is offered water, and something transpires here. But just the whole flow of that scene, they like try to build this suspense, and then like the thing that happens there was just kind of, I don't know, lack of suspense. I thought there was gonna be something in the water or something like that. Something interesting, something come out of the jug. Something interesting. But it just ended up being this cheesy little thing that happens and it was kind of stupid. It was a moment that was really lackluster and it didn't have the sparks behind it that they tried to create within the situation. They tried to make it a huge deal and this super suspenseful moment, but it just wasn't that, especially with the way it ended. So the water scene I thought was really, really stupid, but everything else was awesome. I loved what happened with Arandir and his little troop of friends that he made while he's in imprisonment and what's going on there and Adar, we'll get to see who Adar is moving forward and what's going to happen with that. This was just a great episode guys. So far this was the best of the three and I am telling you this shit, I am hopeful finally for once i'm hopeful that this shit is gonna get really great moving forward i am on board now guys this episode got me on board and excited mostly because of numenor guys i want a holiday in numenor i want to be out there guys i want to do my thing it's very chic very sexy and i'm down with numenor 100 i'm gonna wear the blue and the gold I thought that shit was hot, guys. That shit was hot. I give this episode a creme de la creme out of a creme de la creme or gold rating. This was the best episode by far of the episodes we've been given of the three. Episode three is the best. It had action, blood, guts, gore, interesting storylines, interesting characters, interesting story development. Everything moving forward in a positive and very fulfilling way, honestly. I felt fulfilled watching this episode. I just felt like finally I'm getting something that I'm enjoying. Finally, it's worthy of the Lord of the Rings banner, guys. This episode really made me a believer in this series that if it continues on this trend, it's just going to get better and better moving forward. And I am on bored guys let me know what you guys thought of this episode i'm really curious to know what you guys think of this episode and how you guys think it compares to the previous if you think it's the best or not just give me your guys impressions on this one i want to know what you guys think let me know in the comment section below all right guys thanks for watching make sure to subscribe for more content and reviews and i'll catch you on the next according to ash stay gold